Uh, well, guys, let's just take a start. Uh, today, we are going to go through gender training reading test. Uh, by the way, strategies are same. Pattern is same. Type of questions that we have, that is same. Uh, only passages, uh, especially the length of the passages, that is different. In gender training section 1, you will get two short passages. Whereas in academic section 1, you will get one long passage. Otherwise, the questions that we have in reading, they are same. List of headings, multiple choice, uh, short answer question, true, false, not given. All the questions are same. Sometimes if uh, you fail to get good score in academic IELTS and your fundamentals or foundation is weak, then it's a good idea to start from gender training. Take at least four or five tests. And then you can switch to academic reading, then you will understand that better. And if you are gender training candidate and you are not getting good number of correct answers, then you should go to academic reading, solve some tests there. And then after academic, when you come to gender training, you will find it easier and your score will be better. Uh, whatever it is, whether academic or gender training, in part three, we have a long passage in academic as well as in gender training, we have a long passage and almost same type of questions. So third part is same, only part one and two, they are different in terms of passage. Otherwise questions and other things are same. Now, uh, we are going to start with this test. You can see the title page. You should have a pencil in your hand as you are doing the test. Uh, the title page has got this on best suitcase. Now. Is that your best suitcase? Okay. So when they say best suitcase, and by the way, as you are doing reading, you must switch on your imagination. Whatever you read, if those ideas, those words are imprinted on your mind, most definitely you can retain that. Retention is something very important. What is retention? You read three, four sentences and you try to remember some of the things. Especially when you read the question, you should retain the question, that then you can go back to the passage and see where the answer is. Now, by the way, what you need to do when you read the question, the first thing is you need to identify a clue word. What is a clue word? A clue word is a word that will take you to the part of the passage where the answer is going to be or where there is the answer. So clue word is one thing you need to find. Sometimes you will find direct clue word, exact same word you need to find. It can be a number, it can be a name, it can be a proper noun and otherwise you will find a word but the clue word is going to be the synonym of that word. So in that case you should be aware of that as well, the first thing. Second you must know, no, no, that's okay, someone is smoking around. That's what I just smelled. So uh, the second thing is uh, after this, you should know where the questions and passage, they are in the same order because uh, it is important. If you know that in multiple choice questions, the questions and the passage, they are in the same order, definitely you will find the answer of first question and then gradually you read on and on and on, you will find the other answers. And remember one more thing. First question of any set, whatever, I mean set means four or five questions together. The first question will take more time. After that, when you go to the second question, third question, it will take less time. One thing. Second thing, when you start with one set of questions, for example, questions one to five, that may take more time. But when you come to six to ten, you will be familiar with the passage, so that will take less time. Okay? So don't panic that okay, I'm just doing question number one and two minutes gone. After finding the right answer of question number one, when you move to question number two, then three, then four, gradually you'll be fine, okay? And during the reading test, control your emotions, control your nerves, control your feelings, no boredom, nothing else like that, okay? So, best suitcases. Now, after that, we go and see what type of questions we have. Look at, I'm on, on the next page now. Look at the seven reviews of suitcases A to G on page 16. For which suitcases or suitcase are the following statements true? This is called 
which paragraph contains the following or we also call it finding information in the paragraph right finding information in the paragraph now remember for this type of question one sentence will match exactly with one sentence it's not that you have to read three four sentences grab the idea summarize those ideas and then see what it is no exact statement will match with exact statement okay and you should know that also like sometimes you got to read three four lines to to get the gist of that and then you match that very thing but for this type of questions you got to exactly find the same uh, sentence now when you do this in academic over there you should read the questions first but do it last do it at the end because these type of questions need full scanning of the passage and if you are not familiar with the passage and you're doing full scanning that may consume a lot of time so it's a good idea if you're doing it in academic read the questions first underline clue words and wherever you find any answer you can just look at and write the answer and then do the other questions okay but when it is in general training the formula is don't read the questions go to the paragraph and skim read it now you must be familiar with three key reading skills number one scanning most important and those who don't do scanning those who only do reading then they do IELTS reading in two hours 30 minutes sometimes even three hours sometimes they say one hour should be given for one passage okay so you got to do three passages in one hour so the most important reading skill is scanning those who are good at scanning they can manage their time in reading okay time management is very important so the students who complain we can't manage the time they are never good at scanning today you are going to focus scanning also okay after that we have skimming now what is skimming you just read it quickly so that you get to know and, and when you are skimming you're not reading all the sentences you're only focusing nouns verbs adjectives important details any number or anything like that and after that the third important reading skill is actually what we call careful reading where you read every word you make sense you read every word for good understanding so first scanning then it is skimming and after that we've got this uh, careful reading okay now we come to paragraph a and uh, I'm just going to demonstrate how to read and there must be a pencil in your hand try to underline or whatever uh, while just doing this so uh, Brig and Riley Vikander just come to that uh, a Vikander suitcase that's sophisticated and unusually spacious so you can underline sophisticated unusually spacious spacious means it's got a lot of room you can put a lot of things and all that unusually spacious for its type the strong nylon outer fabric is water and abrasion resistant whenever they use the word water it means watertight waterproof water resistant and all that you can underline that as well it should handle any knocks without showing signs of damage handle knocks without showing signs of damage means even if you throw it it will not break yeah I told you just go and see today we'll write it on comment card yeah so uh, now these words you have underlined now look here please this is where your retention comes now if you've read this spacious water resistant nylon and this and that all the thing okay if you don't remember these things you read the questions and that is useless again you will come back then you go back to questions and that is going to eat all your time and all that so I mean you need this much uh, this much retention you should retain all these things okay uh, now let's move on we go to questions now questions one onward this suitcase is for those and, and listen now listen very carefully when you read the questions for the first time read them very carefully because now uh, don't just think that I have one paragraph and I have to find the answer to that read all the questions because second step is what second step is you will retain the questions 
and you will find that information in the paragraph. And again, you will come back to questions. So it's just going to be like that. Anyways, uh, this suitcase is for those who wish to purchase expensive luggage. Underline wish to purchase expensive luggage. What does that mean? If anybody wants to spend a lot of money on bags and all that, so it's that. Number two, uh, Yasin, will you please open the doors? Wo wala darwaza bhi khol de. Huh? There someone. Okay. Uh, this suitcase is right one for people who like to follow the latest fashion. Now see, this is all useless detail. This suitcase, we understand this is the passage about suitcase. So this suitcase is the right one for people who like to follow latest fashion. That is what you need to remember. Okay, in IELTS, reading and listening in questions, they always try to be wordy. Wordy means the thing is only follow the latest fashions, but they have to write a long sentence so that they just see whether you understand that or not. Okay. Now, this will not match because there we read waterproof and uh, knocks will not break it and then it is spacious and all that. Number three, uh, it is easy to choose one of these suitcases to match most clothing. Match most clothing. If you are wearing red dress, suitcase is also red. I mean, you just need to imagine that red dress, red suitcase, blue dress, blue suitcase and all that. Uh, four, manufacturer is confident that this suitcase will last a long time. Last a long time means guarantee or warranty of 15 years, 20 years, 10 years. That means it will last a long time. Remember, whenever they use the word uh, confident that this thing will last a long time, usually they talk about guarantee or warranty. Right. Uh, next, items in this suitcase will not be affected if it gets wet. Now see that you read water. Now you reach the question. It gets wet. Yes, water and gets wet. So it's going to be question number five. And the answer is A. Now, please listen very carefully. When you find a right answer, where they have written question number one, two, three, four, five, five you've done. Now put a cross on five. You will not read it again. This is another key for good time management. Otherwise, you will read the question and say, oh, oh, I've done that already. So you just need to put a cross on number five. Now you will not take a look at number five. And then we have number six. Suitcase is a useful medium size. Now, medium size is you know between large and small. Number seven, those who want to be reminded of an earlier age of travel will like this suitcase. Earlier age of travel means old fashioned or old styled and all that. Now we have read all these questions and by the way, if I ask you how many questions do you remember, you cannot answer this question. But when you find something related to that, it will ring a bell. It will ring a bell. Yeah, I read it. I read it somewhere. So this is what you need to do. The questions must be imprinted on the back of your head. When you just see that, I mean, for example, if you meet someone and you say, well, uh, I don't know that person, but when the person comes in front of me, then I can identify that. This is how you got to do it. Now we go on with paragraph B. Uh, we do this one together as well. Uh, you don't need to read the name because you know there is no question about that. Trimmed in brown leather with gold details. This bag from the renowned fashion house. Underline that. Renowned fashion. Now, bag is from renowned fashion house, but they did not mention whether the bag is fashionable or not. This is a trap. Okay, this bag is from renowned fashion house. Is a truly indulgent buy. If you are investing this much in a suitcase, means yes, if you are investing this much in a suitcase, then you'd better be planning an amazing holiday to go with. So if you are spending this much in a suitcase, which question? First one. First one, because the question is, suitcase is for those who wish to purchase expensive luggage. Wish to purchase expensive luggage and if you are planning to spend this much. Okay. Now, let's do one more. Uh, by the way, you must cross number one also. One and five, you just cross them. Now we have option C. 
design you can trust this case is built for super light polycarbonate and is incredibly solid you can just see incredibly solid uh, the built in combination lock offers state of the art security so you can travel with peace of mind now see which question matches with this okay yeah four all right listen carefully no option matches with this paragraph right so there can be a paragraph which is empty there is no question and by the way you guys said number four number four is manufacturer is confident that this suitcase will last a long time they did not say anything that it will last a long time yes they said incredibly solid but last a long time means there should be some time period or something like that. So this paragraph is empty. So keep in mind one paragraph may contain one question or two questions. Sometimes if the paragraph is long, there can be three questions also and sometimes no question as well. You need to keep that option in mind also. In case if you see well exactly no question matches with this paragraph, then leave that paragraph. Go on to the other ones. At the end you can come back. All right, now paragraph D, you will do it on your own. I give you a minute. D for doctor. done cheerful colors anything you choose to put on exactly it's number three and number three is it is easy to choose one of these suitcases to match most clothing now for clothing they use the word to put on and for match go with go with and match they are the same words okay now in the same way please do paragraph e Read paragraph E carefully. There can be one question, there can be two questions also. Consider that. Good. Done? Okay, so which question? Four. Okay, let's just see. First, we've got question number six. I tell you why. It's written in between an annual holiday suitcase and a weekender bag. Weekender bag is small and holiday suitcase is large. So between that means something medium, right? Uh, okay, next with uh, two wheels and then they say bag is guaranteed for 30 years. I told you, right? Uh, manufacturer is sure that it will last a long time so question number six and four they will match here now if you cross six and four also then you are left with question number two and question number seven go on please with paragraph f Paragraph F, last line, cool, stylish and up to date. So, which option? Second option, exactly. Question number two, suitcase is the right one for people who like to follow the latest fashion. So, in front of question number two, you will write F and on your answer sheet also you will do that. 
Next, we've got paragraph G. Now, we are left with one question only, by the way. Okay? So, that is question number 7. And how do we find that? Goes back to the days when trains ran on stream. Goes back to the days when trains ran on stream. So, those who want to be reminded of an earlier age. Right? All right. So, is that fine? Good start.